Whether it be at the beginning, middle, or end of the school year, you usually always have students with good grades and those with less satisfactory. In this episode, we'll teach you how to communicate clearly your excitement to parents or your concern using Infinite Campus's Grade Messenger. boy, this is my favorite thing in Infinite Campus. So glad you are checking it out as well. This will save you tons of time as a teacher and a uh, perfect way to communicate with parents easily. Uh, so I'm going to start off in Infinite Campus. Here's my grade book, my attendance, my planner. Right up here, Message Center. I'm going to shoot out an email about grades. Um, and so I'm going to select New. Okay. And instead of class message, I am going to highlight my grade message. All right, and press OK. And uh, so we're off and running. Now, normally, if you select this grade message, you're going to get a default message down here. And it's a little hokey, I think, actually, myself. But feel free to use it and ramp it up if you want to. Basically, what this would say is your student we'll say Ben has earned a grade in the course geometry please sign into your school's parent portal at and then it'll give you the URL address to find more information now that doesn't really say much it doesn't even say if they're earning a high or a low grade and I have checked in on this and it's because we can't send um, uh, personal grades through emails uh, or if a campus doesn't want to uh, do that just because of security reasons. And so uh, we've actually written a template that actually gives a little bit more information. Um, and I think you might find it a little useful. So right up here, right after you select grade message, come down here to the user groups and highlight your school. Now, possibly your school might not have this, but uh, Craig has it because I did it. And uh, so if we go to Craig and we go to template. Now, I wrote two, actually, uh, me and a colleague uh, wrote two different emails, student grade concern and student grade congrats, because sometimes we might want to email all of our Ds and Fs students and sometimes we want might want to email you know like maybe our A's and B students and say hey you're doing a great job let's get some positive contacts in there right so let's just say for the time being uh, let's do the grade concern um, and they're obviously written differently and just press OK and the next thing you want to make sure you do is uh, you can select which one you want it to go to I always suggest emailing for sure and then you want to make sure the date, the delivery date. Now, I saved this template last on 1-7-16, but you might want to change that to whatever the date is that you want to send it out. That's very important, actually. Um, and then here's the time that you would want it to roughly be delivered on that day. And then you make sure you come down here and change the email to your own. All right, so the uh, parents know who it's coming from. I've already uh, entitled the subject grade concern and then you can see there's a, a little bit longer email basically saying they've earned a low grade now it's up to you to determine what a low grade is and I'll show you how to choose um, those students and once again if you want to change something else if you want to write some more personal stuff you can feel free to type in here my only um, my only concern here is do not save um, because if you save it's going to save it under the Craig all and it's going to change everybody's templates so if you're going to save save as and if you do change the email save it don't save it under Craig because that'll muck up the Craig save it under your own user okay and then nobody will be able to read your emails to parents so save it under your user account and then only you can view your templates once again if you save it under Craig everyone will see those templates so just to help 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 it out alright um, 
Next thing you do after uh, you're satisfied with the message, you, you go to next. And here is a very important thing that I always forget to do. Right now it's uh, under geometry and notice if I click this it's actually geometry term one and I might not wanna email out the grades from term one. Uh, maybe I wanna actually email gra grades to geometry in term two. So I'm gonna select that one. That's very important because otherwise so it's gonna be like old data. And then you can email all your students Okay, it'll run through all of the students who have F's and D's or whatever. Um, or uh, you can choose specific students you want it to run through. We're going to do all students, my suggestion. I also want their in-progress grade. Posted grades would be once you hit post, obviously. And then I'm going to come down here and I am this. I'm going to drop down and select the grade I want to email out. So if I select, this is a grade concern, I'm going to select F, D, D, and I'm going to throw a D plus in there too, just as well. Um, this will only email students in that class who have a D or an F now. So it'll send out that grade concern email to all my D and F students in this class. All right, and then I'm going to come down here, go to my grading task, and uh, for this sake, I'm going to say you can have it email out to people who are failing the term, the exam, or in my case, I care about the semester. I want them to pass the semester. So I'm going to email all the people who are getting Fs, Ds, D minuses, and D pluses in the semester grade. One last important thing, always allow repeat messages this way. If you've already emailed parents about it, it'll email it again. Once again, then I'm going to click Next. Almost done here, guys. It's going to show me I have a recipient count that's 13 different parents who are going to receive this email. That does not go to students. There's no way to send it to students. I'm going to go to my review recipients. I love doing this first just so I can see who it's going to. It'll say the student name. Unfortunately, I have to fuzz it out. But then you can also show the preview of that personal student. So it's going to put that student's name in. It's going to, um, you know, put in all that personal information so you can check it out very uh, nicely. You might want to preview it, close it down. Remember, uh, the only way these messages go out is if you press send. So have fun with this. I hope this is a uh, great help to you. That is how to do grade message.